My video today is going to be a shop my stash. This is a new thing I'm going to be doing on my channel. Um, it's just so everything in my drawers get a chance, really. I use tend to use the same products over and over. So I kind of wanted to give everything a chance and it lets you guys see what I have and what's new to my collection. So yeah, there's not much else to say. We're just going to get into the video and I hope you guys enjoy it. The way I'm going to do this is every two weeks I'm going to start again and replace all the products that I picked out. So I'm going to pick a couple of each category and then yeah replace them. So for the first category we're going to go into foundation. I'm going to pick a couple of foundations that I'm going to use for the next two weeks and it'll probably be ones that I'm actually like almost finished. So this I'm going to fake tan tonight so this one will suit me. This is the Primark my perfect colour, all the writings come off it, but that's one of the ones I'm going to use and I'm also going to mix it with the Maybelline Superstay because it is so, so close to being done and then the other one I'm going to use, mm, I can't decide, we'll go with the Hello Flawless from Benefit as well. For concealer, I'm going to go with Benefit Concealer here. As you can see, I've hit pan, so I want to use more of this. And then, I, mm, for an under eye brightener, I'm going to use the Becca one. So I've used quite a lot of this already, but this is my favourite one, so I'm going to pop that in. And then my Revolution Conceal and Define in C2. Next category is brows, so I'm going to swatch some of these to see what I'm thinking for brows because some of them are a wee bit too dark, just with my hair at the moment. Maybe, I don't use this very often, I might give this another go, this is L'Oreal Paradise Brow Pomade and the Goof Proof Brow Pencil as well. For mascara, I've got these three here. I'm going to finish off the L'Oreal Paradise mascara because it is almost, almost out. Um, so I'm just going to go with this one. And for powder, we're just going to go with the Rimmel Match Perfection, the loose um, translucent setting powder and the Maybelline Fit Me in 105. For eyeliner, I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Infallible. This is like a forest green. It looks quite teal on camera, but it is more forest green in person. So I'm going to have that one. For black eyeliner, I'm going to have the Soap and Glory Super Cat Liner, as this is almost out, so I want to use this. And then for topper, is going to be the Collection Glam Crystals. So this is just the lightest shade in Aura 1. So for primer, I'm going to take out the Sleek Hydrating Primer. And this is so close to being finished as well, so I want to use all of this. And the professional from Benefit in the pearl size. Moving on to bronzer, I'm going to use the solar powder from Soap and Glory. So this is what it looks like. It's very, very used. So I again just want to kind of use this up. And I'm gonna bring out a Revolution Conceal and Define as well. This is shade 13.5 just for my contour for lipstick we're not going to do much with lipstick again I just want to kind of use some things up so this is the Urban Decay Insanity and it's a cream nude and it's so nice and it's so close to being finished so I just want to use that one up the 
other round I'm going to have is this L'Oreal uh, Color Riche in 358 Lava. And that's what that one looks like. So I this is my perfect red. I absolutely love it. The next thing we're looking at is lashes. So for this month, I'm this month, the next two weeks, I'm gonna use up the Tati TL4 lashes and the Ardell Demi Wispies, just this pair here. And I've got the TL21s on right now. Um, so I'll replace them as well. I'll use these up as well. For blush, I'm going to do more of the same. So the Sugar Balm by Benefit. I'm going to use this and hopefully use most of it up by the end of this two weeks. So I'm just going to focus on using this blush every day and um, just to kind of use it up and make room for more blush. So this is the difficult bit, is choosing what eyeshadow palettes I want to use. So I need more of like a neutral one, but I also need quite a colorful one. So let's go in. Let's go in with the Urban Decay Full Spectrum. I have not used this in so long. But I want to give it another shot, see if the pigmentation's still there. And if not, I'm going to get rid of it. So, yeah, that's the next one I'm going to go in with. And something I've not given anything a chance at all is this palette here. This is from MAC and it's from their Pretty Little Things collection, I think. So I want to give this a chance because I've only ever swatched these. I've not actually used them. So yeah, that palette will be coming out as well. For highlight. This is always such a hard drawer. I just don't even know what to do. Because I love them all. Let's go with the Revolution Soft Palette. That gold shade, as you can see, is used to death. And it's amazing. So we're just gonna go in with this palette. So I don't need any other highlighters. So that Sorry, be. this was quite a short video, but I'm gonna do one of these every two weeks. And we're gonna see my stash of makeup and what kind of things I'm pulling out. If you do want to see more of this, give this video a like. And yeah, comment below. Tell me your thoughts, any suggestions of videos I should do, please tell me. Um, I would love to take your suggestions. And if any of you are wondering, this tracksuit I've got on is so comfortable. And it's Georgia Kosalu, I can't say her name. It's her brand and it's Boyfriend Tokyo. And my boyfriend got it for me for Valentine's Day and it's amazing, I love it. It's just so cute. I'm going to Belfast tomorrow, so I've got so much to do tonight. I've got to pack, I've got to pack my makeup, which is the hardest bit. I've got to tan, I've got to curl my hair. There's just so much stuff that needs done. So I'm gonna go and do that. Thank you so much for watching, and this will be up on Sunday. Um, so yeah, I'll be back next week with more videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.